Welcome back to another tutorial. This time we're going to go over manually setting up eyes. Like the Visium tutorial which came before this, um, you should only do this if your eyes fail to set up automatically when you use the avatar creator. Um, this is again a manual way of doing it. There are also tools and um, utilities available to help you do this in a folder called Community Avatar Tools and a world called um, Avatar templates and tutorials or something like that. I'll put a link in, in the video description to a video I did about that world and the tools within that world, um, which should help you out. So this is the manual method of doing it using components and the inspector. So it is quite an advanced concept, but we're gonna get started. Do try the avatar creator first, please, 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 please. This is so complicated. Eyes are probably my least favorite one to set up. Let's get started, we're in for a wild ride. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this light. Uh, again, we're in this dark world and I didn't want to go anywhere else. This is my usual tutorial world. It usually works, but this avatar is quite sort of dark in this environment. So um, again, I'm going to go ahead and inspect the head of the avatar here. I'm actually going to stay in the head for a lot more of the tutorial than we stayed in for the um, uh, the Visium tutorial, but we are going to need a reference to the Visiums as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a second inspector on the head and bump that up to the top and descend down into those Visiums which are in body. Again, take a look at the previous video uh, if you want to know how that works. You'll see these rules still assigned. The reason we're in the Visims is so that we can cover blinking, and we're actually going to cover blinking probably first, but uh, um, they both kind of have to do the same thing uh, or the same sort of system. Um, so you'll see here again there are um, Visims that are called blink left and blink right. These may be called different things. Um, it doesn't really matter when you're setting them up manually, I should do them manually, um, but the avatar creator is looking for something like that. It's very lenient, again I'll put a link to it in the video description for the standard Visim names that it will find. It will find a bunch, like it, like blink, blink left, blink L, it will, it, you know, it will find quite a lot. Uh, so if I close blink left all the way to the top you'll see that the left eye is shut, and if I do the right eye you'll see the right eye is shut, so now both eyes are shut. Let's undo that and uh, then let's start working. Uh, first thing I would uh, usually suggest you do is under the head, we create a new slot using the star button and call this one eye manager. The reason we're doing this is because this is the way that the um, avatar creator sets them up. And so if you name them the same, it means that anyone that helps you, including me, knows where to look. Um, the eyes are very complicated and you can spread the components out wherever you want to, um, but that will lead to confusion. So if you keep them in standard slot names, then I can find them a lot easier. So uh, I didn't say where we're going. We're going to go to users, a common avatar system. And then we're going to go to face and then eye manager. The eye manager is huge. The eye manager is very complicated. Please don't be alarmed. I'm going to go through everything that we need to look at. Some of these we don't even need to do, so don't worry about it too much. As we're going to do um, blinking first, what we're going to go ahead is set up blinking. So for that we need a few more components. Um, so we go to attach component, users, common avatar system, face, eye linear driver. Now the eye driver is additionally a very complicated component, so uh, this is why it's my least favorite topic in terms of uh, avatar setup. If we go back up to the eye manager, we're going to grab the eye manager, and we're going to put that into the eye manager property of the eye driver. And then we're going to go to the bottom list, there's quite a few lists, of the eye driver and hit add twice. This will add two eyes, if you like, to the list. And um, what we're going to then do here is set one of them to left and one of them to right. If you have a combined left and right blink um, blend shape, then or Visim, then just have combined here. But if you do have separate left and right, then have separate left and right there. So what we can do here is then put uh, blink left into the open close target and blink right into the open close target on the right side. With both of those set up, you can actually see it's now blinking. Um, we're going to wait for a blink patiently. There we go. You see both of them blinked. You can uh, change some of the properties here to change um, how blinking works. For example, there is uh, the open state is uh, what it should be when the eyes are open, and the closed state is what it should be when the eyes are closed. So if you want your blink to be less aggressive, you could set that to sort of 0 0.75, and then it'll be 75% closed when it blinks. 
If you want to control the rate of blinking, you can go back up to the eye manager here. And you can scroll through everything and look for blink min speed, blink max speed, blink speed, speed blink speed spread, um, and various other things like that. If it's got blink in it, then you can try playing with it. I don't personally touch most of these. Um, they're very uh, complicated. Uh, there is a lot going on here. Um, the reason why there's a lot going on as well is because remember, um, Neo supports eye tracking headsets and when eye tracking headsets are involved, you can get things like pupil size and open and closed state directly from the human that is wearing the headset and therefore everything there is plumbed into the, 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 the second, you know, plumbed in. Now we're going to go ahead and control the eye movement. The eye movement is even more fun. For that, we're going to need another component. So we're going to go to attach component, users, common avatar system, face eye rotation driver the eye rotation driver requires the eye manager again so we're going to scroll up through all the properties grab eye manager go down to the eye rotation driver and drop that in and then we're going to add two eyes and again set these to left and right now you'll see here that the uh, left eye and the right eye here have a pivot. Um, you'll need a pivot if uh, the eye orientation is a little bit weird or um, there's other things that you want to do to adjust the eye. Um, in this case, they're already set up. Uh, take a look, have a play. I really can't be too prescriptive about your eyes um, other than that the, orange from the origin point of your eye should be in the center of the eye. It shouldn't be sort of off to the space or you know in their thigh or something it should be the origin point should be the center of the eye because we're going to be basically rotating around the origin point to achieve eye movement so let's go back to the eye manager here and go to the eye rotation driver and we're going to set the left eye pivot to be on the left and the right eye pivot to be on the right and then there's this convenient button here that says set up from root which we're going to click twice on both of them and it will set up the eye movement with that, you should now see that the eyes now move. So if I can get them to move, they're just gonna end up looking at me or maybe they're not activated. They, oh, here, yes. Uh, it's it's normal for some components to not be activated until you've set them up correctly. So here you'll see that the enable property was disabled a few seconds ago and that we've just enabled it. So now it should be <laughs> looking at various things. Uh, you'll see that the eyes have moved. Uh, sometimes they might move a little bit weirdly. This is just a sample avatar, um, and unfortunately I had to remove the um, eye manager from it. And what that does is it uh, kind of breaks the initial setup of the avatar. So when you make an avatar in Blender, usually the eyes are looking straight forward. When I removed the eye manager, the eyes kind of weren't looking straight forward, so that's being added to the mathematics going on here. But that, that's okay. All right, so the one last thing that we need to do for at least this simple eye setup is that we need to set a property called simulating user to be the user when the avatar is equipped. To do that, what we're going to do is add one or more component called the eye, the, uh, I'll find it. It's in users common avatar system, avatar user reference designer. There you go, I didn't know it for a second. Um, Favoritar user reference designer, what we're going to get over here is, you see where it says zero, we're going to, I should have done this a long time ago, there we go. We're going to open up two of these and then we can drop the simulating user value into the references slot here. And that will mean that when you equip the avatar, the simulating user gets um, set to that user. And uh, there we go. That is the avatar setup complete. I'm going to go ahead and equip this avatar now. And I'm going to set the camera to third person and uh, try and face that light again. So you'll see that the um, the avatar is looking, and I'm going to zoom in here, the avatar is looking directly at the camera, and that's a normal thing. So there's a lot of properties on the eye manager which control what an avatar looks at, and by default it will try and look at cameras a lot more than anything else. This is convenient because it means that we can move the camera around and it should it should continue to look at the camera. So here you see it, it did a little bit of a, what's called a saccade, which is where the eyes um, don't focus on um, their look target. They kind of just sort of drift around. If your eyes have drifted around and you haven't really noticed it, that's, that's, that's like a saccade. 
Um, I'm not sure on the actual like, scientific terms here, so I may get some wrong. I am not a doctor. I am not an eye doctor either. Um, I'm just using terms the way I understand them, which may be incorrect. Uh, so there's natural eye drift going on. Nias is sort of simulating that sort of, you know, defocusing going on. And you'll notice as well, if I look at my hand, um, or my hand is close to my face, it will then look at the, uh, the hand. So you can see here that the eyes are looking at the hand, even though the camera is in front of me. If you have an issue with the eyes going too far, for example, the eyeball kind of like moves out of the socket or looks like it's sort of in the back of the head or appears in the nose, then you'll need to adjust a few properties. Um, the one that I touch a lot, let me just get me out the way, is uh, what's called swing. Oh, let me set this for uh, zoom for you. Uh, field of view. Uh... Max swing, there it is. Uh, max swing is how far it can swing on both axis, axis, axi. Um, so if you um, get too far of a distance, you can set that max swing to be lower. In this case, it's pretty much okay, so we'll leave it as is. That's it for eye management. Um, the automatic eye setup will do a few more things for you, but uh, this will get a basic eye setup going. Um, if you're using an eye tracking avatar, you will need to do more to make this work with your actual eyes. Uh, if you do have one of those and you have difficulty with setting it up after using the avatar creator, please do let me know. I'll come help you out directly as it's a little bit more involved when there's an eye manager involved. Um, for proof that it's working, you can see that there is a bunch of stuff going on here. All these numbers changing including um, the look target root and the look target offset here are what the camera, uh, sorry, not the camera, the eyes are looking at and the uh, position and offsets based on those. So you can see here that uh, it'll be periodically looking at a camera, which is the camera I'm using to record the video, and then periodically it'll look at something else. Uh, probably get it to look at something else, but it, it's difficult when uh, I'm, I'm filming as it'll uh, look at camera as much. Actually, that's why camera wait. Here we go. Go ahead and do zero here and zero here, and now it won't look at the uh, the camera as much. Especially if we turn off full size on camera as well, that should uh, fix that. Maybe that has to be a number. You see, this is uh, in one of these cases, it's where I don't entirely know everything that the uh, component does. I really only play with the rotation driver and the linear uh, driver, I don't play with these numbers much, they're quite good. I want to stop wittering on, and uh, I will see you on the next video. If you've got questions about eyes, do please let me know. I will try and help you out. Um, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.